Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Salesforce with Microsoft Teams. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Salesforce or login to already created account uh, that you created before. The fastest way how we can make this integration happen is through automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Uh, so once we are here, Let's go to the top corner of our screen and uh, pick integration. Over over the integrations or click on integrations, it's completely up to you. And let's go to the bottom left part of our pop-up window and see all categories. Uh, in the search uh, window, we want to write down Salesforce like this. And now we have to pick the counterpart. The counterpart will be obviously microsoft teams like this and as you can see we can uh, start with this integration uh, by choosing a popular integration but if you won't be able to find the integration that you are looking for keep scrolling down and now uh, in this field you can create your own integration just remember on the left side or underneath the triggers, you want to go and start with Salesforce first. Don't go with uh, with Microsoft Teams. So I don't know, let's go with the first one. And on the opposite side, underneath the actions, as you probably guessed, you want to go with Teams. There are three options. So let's go with the first one. What we have to do now, we have to click on Try It Now button and we get redirected to just uh, log in to your automate.eo account and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. Now we can use zapier.com or it's, uh, it's very similar uh, app to automate. We also need to create an account here. And once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on make a zap. Also, at the top left corner, we can name our Zap, but it's not mandatory. Uh, back to integration. First things first, we have to set up a trigger, which will be Salesforce, trigger event. Um, let's go with the first one. Continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created a couple of moments ago. We hit continue. Now, a Salesforce object, so we have to pick um from your workspace at uh at um at salesforce but let's, yeah let's give with the let's go with the first one and now we can test our trigger on the second action uh as you probably also guessed we have to go with microsoft teams like this action event also let's stick with the first one continue and now we have to just to sign in to the Microsoft Teams and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.